Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of the Android Guy. I'm your host HK. In today's episode, we're going to talk about all the awesome stuff that you can do on a Magic's rooted device. And just as a reminder, this is the second and the final part of our two-part series on the Magic's root. In the first part, we show you how to easily and safely root your phone with the Magic's root, which is by far the latest and the most advanced way to root almost any Android device out there. So don't forget to watch the first part if you haven't already by tapping right here or from the links in the description. But if you want to learn how to use root and all the different things that can be done on a rooted device, then this video is exactly what you need to see. Taking trips cuz I never tripped on what they said. If you speak in from your heart and they say you're going now folks, rooting your device itself from the outside won't change anything on your device. Rooting will only install an additional app onto your phone, which is the Root Manager app, and that allows root applications to work. You can then use the features of Root by installing these root applications from the Play Store. Root apps are like any other app, except they let you do things that were earlier not possible. With root apps, you can do all sorts of cool stuff like you can hack games, you can change your CPU speed, you can install mods, you can change the fonts and animations, you can remove restrictions, you can even kick people out of your Wi-Fi network and much much more. So don't forget to check the links in the description to know more about the specific root applications and their uses. Now with Magic's root, you get a couple of additional features inside the root manager app itself that makes this version of root the most advanced version of root ever. These will give you a basic idea about what you can expect from a rooted device. So let's go ahead and check these out. So at the very top we got the super user option. It's basically the place from where you can check on what application on your device is using root. And you can sort of allow or deny root access by simply tapping on this slider button right here. So that puts you in full control over what app is using root. Now folks, the next option is the hide root feature, which is essentially the most useful root feature ever. As certain apps or services like banking apps, apps like Instagram or games like Pokemon Go will simply refuse to start if your device is rooted, although they have nothing to do with root. And for a long time, there was no fix to that. But with the hide root feature, you can now select the app that's refusing to start from the list of applications right here. Then hop back and the application will magically start working. <laughs> Just like that. This feature is very important and useful as it allows you to make full use of root without any compromises or restrictions. There's probably a big reason to update from older versions of root like King Root or SuperSue over to Magic's root. But most importantly, the feature that makes Magic stand out from other routing methods is the mods and modules section. Over here you will find a huge list of mods that you can directly install onto your Android. And the fun part is, you can do all of that from the app itself. And since these are systemless mods, you can install and uninstall these without affecting your device. And the mods are pretty straightforward. Each mod has a name and a short description on what it does, which you can then download and install directly from the application itself. It's basically a mix of good features that are taken out from other versions of Android. For example, it has a ton of audio mods, display mods, and even little things like emojis or busybox, which allows hacking apps like Wi-Fi Kill or Lucky Patcher to work on your device. I can talk on and on about it, but basically the number of features that you can add onto your device from here is endless. Essentially, you are creating your very own custom version of Android, literally taking Android modifications to the next level. And again, since these are systemless mods, you can enable or disable multiple mods without affecting your device, which is pretty cool. Now with older versions of root, you will have to manually download and reinstall each time there is an update. But on Magix, each time there is an update to the Magix manager or the Magix root, it will automatically notify you from the app itself. 
So simply tap on install and the app will automatically update to the latest version of root. So it basically ensures that you're always on the latest version of root. So yeah folks, that's about it. If this video helped you in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and people and do subscribe to the Android guy to watch more interesting videos like this one and make sure to share this video with other people. That's about it. I'm your host HK from The Android Guy signing out and as always, you folks have a great day.